The time has finally come, Clark, man. Hi, where is how it gets carried? This video that you're watching right now is long overdue. This is one for the Harry Potter detectors. All of the people that stuck with me throughout the years of insisting that I watch the movies and collect the sets and me resisting it for the longest time, saying I wasn't interested in it, I wasn't interested in the sets. I finally sat down this summer and we watched all of the Harry Potter movies. And I have to say, and I'm the person that can admit when I'm wrong, I thought the movies were fantastic. Thoroughly enjoyed them. And I know the book people right now are going to be like, Greg, you got to read the books. And I wish I had the time, but I certainly don't. Watch the movies and we started getting into the sets. And over the summer, we built set after set after set. We live streamed a whole bunch of those, but that was about it. A lot of the stuff that we did was never seen on this channel, all because I was waiting until we built all of the sets that I had in the backlog so I could do a Harry Potter showcase. And we finished those sets, including one that Jordan, a Patreon detector sent us. We finished that maybe like a month ago. And they've been sitting on this table over here, but no longer because today is the day, my friends, that we do the Harry Potter showcase and show you all the sets that we built and we defeat the Harry Potter backlog, which has actually been defeated for a while except for one set and that's this one right here this is the uh, lego brickheads Hagrid and buckbeak but i think we're going to build this today for you guys as well clarkman is over here just going crazy setting this all up for you guys making this beautiful little display piece and that's one thing you can certainly say about these sets is that they look fantastic on display clarky actually built most of these he built this one with mrs Brickitect as i was talking on the stream i built the i think first half of this and clarky built the second half clark built this one clark built that teamwork makes the dream work when you're working on Lego and we do that when we're building and when we're setting up these showcases for you guys. We all good with the setup? Uh-huh. Dude, that looks amazing. Let's kick them through all the sets here. First one is Lego Harry Potter set 75957, the night bus. This is 403 pieces and this thing is awesome. This was the set that I wanted before I seen any of the movies. I just can recognize an awesome set when I see it. And Clark Man's gonna demo this for you. <laughs> where it opens up on the side, you got the chandelier in there. Harry Potter sitting way up high. And, and the driver's in there. We got a driver in here too, which I don't know if I can show him off very well from where he's at. But you got the little head thing that's hanging there. Again, it's been months since I've seen the movies, so I'm gonna get all of this wrong and trigger all of you fine folks. Mm. But it's a pretty cool the little- The dude's right there. It's a good set, man. I would highly recommend this one. This one was, is this a $40 set, I think? I think that's totally worth it. Ah. This one right here, we've got, well, I guess we're switching over to this one. We've got 75965. This is the Rise of Voldemort. I bought this at our local grocery store because I thought it was so good. And it was right after we saw the movies in this set, I think is one of my favorites for the ah. series. Oh my God, something bad just happened. I don't think you can have anyone standing on this. I think that's the problem. We'll put him over there. That goes up like that and that goes down. And now ah! Ah! Don't oh. terrify everyone like that, like man. But we got Tom Riddle's grave back here. I love that statue. Everybody's looking Harry. just on point here. I love these guys. What are these guys called again? Death Eaters, I think. Death Eaters confirmed, but here's all the characters you get from this. You get Peter Pettigrew, you get Harry Potter, you get Voldemort, and the Death Eater. Man, that set is just absolute fire. That's that guy right there. Holding his baby. The other small set that we have, which I don't have the box for, because again, someone destroyed it when they opened it. It's, uh, this is the, oh shoot. What is this one called, Clark, man? Expecto Patronum? Yeah. Okay, where is that set at? In the it's, right, it's right here, near this area. Okay, we got Expecto Patronum right in there between Hagrid's Hut and the Hungarian Horntail Triwizard Challenge. We slide this out a little bit so they can kind of get an idea of what this looks like. Mm -hmm. It's not the best set. I basically just got this for Sirius Black. Sirius Black. Yeah, it's a good little minifig right there. We are missing somebody here. He's He's gone MIA. Maybe you guys can just pretend that that is here with the set. This is one of the dangers of waiting months to do a showcase. Things end up missing, especially when you got a five-year-old that's playing around with this stuff. What's the next set we got, Clark? We got um, Hagrid's Hut. Hagrid's Hut, built by Clark Man and Mrs. Brickett's Act. We got Hagrid with Buttbeak outside in a little pumpkin garden. What else we got here? We got Ron on the roof falling down the chimney. Ron? <laughs> what happened to Ron? Ron's falling down the chimney. I don't remember this scene from the movie, but uh, it probably happened. It's it been a while. It's fake. It's oh, funny. you made this up? Let me slide this around here so these guys... Ron just died. You guys can see the inside of this here. It's super cute. There's a lot of character inside this. And, and there's a spider. Oh yeah, you got spiders coming in. Here's all the minifigs. You get Hagrid, Executioner, Minister of Magic. You've got Hermione, Ron, and then of course Harry as well. This is actually a gift. Remember mom got this for me for Father's Day. This set along with this set. And that was a real nice thing to wake up to and 
open it up in bed and get the card and stuff. So that has a special place in my heart. If you guys didn't know, Father's Day is in May. So that kind of shows you how long these sets have been waiting for us to do this showcase because it's now November. What else we got here, Clark, man? We even got the um, chimney there. Oh, I kind of love that. To make that light up, you just push that down. Yeah, it hits. And there you go. You got a lovely little fireplace in there. And again, there's a ton of detail in this. I need to get my lighting game figured out, but oh Can God. Look at the guy at the door. The executioner is waiting there. Uh, and there's another executioner right there. That is the Minister of Magic looking in the door over there. <laughs> He's being all sketchy, but yeah. it's a cool set, man. They're both running in. Off your lead. Yeah. <laughs> what beaks escaped? Yeah. Harry, do you want to ride? Yay! Goes out into the kitchen sunset set. As Buckbeak flies off into the distance, we have one more set to share with you. This is 75946 Hungarian Horntail Triwizard Challenge. This was the last one we built, and basically the reason we waited on all these because this was sent to us by Jordan on Patreon. Let's show them what this one's all about, Clark Man. Pretty simple set. You got the bed inside here, stickers on the wall. Mom did one of those, and I remember it triggering me because it was like super not on. Yeah, that one right there. The green. What did she do? but there's the rest of the interior. You got a bunch of minifigs with this one as well. I'll show you the front so I can give you the proper names. We've got Cedric, we've got Victor, we've got Fleur, and of course, Harry. But just like Jurassic World sets, the main star is this guy right here who Clark is flying around. Let's see if we can get the focus and the challenge is on for Sony. Look at that fire coming right at you guys. This is like a 3D movie, basically. This is all printed, so if you're worried that that's a sticker, it's certainly not everything. Oh, that's a sticker there, unfortunately. There's the tail, and it's got all those ball joints, so you can move that around in any direction that you want and, as well. And you can point point your camera. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Just on that, that is the final set in our showcase here of the five sets that we built from Harry Potter over the summer. Oh, they got the sticker on the side here too. You guys remember the sticker days from earlier this year when supplies were low and they had to import the sets? That kind of takes me back right there. But like I said earlier, the purpose of this video wasn't just to show you the showcase. It was to officially defeat the Harry Potter backlog, and that can't be done until we build this set, which is LEGO Brickheads 40412 Hagrid and Buckbeak, sent to us by our good friend Builders from Patreon. This was a promo that LEGO was doing for spending, was it $100 on Harry Potter sets? And unfortunately for us, our purchases have already been done, so he was nice enough to send us an extra one, and we are uh, excited to build this up for you, and we're going to do that right now. Who's building what here, Clark, man? I'm building Buckbeak and you build Hagrid. Deal. I can't wait to build that nose on Buckbeak. Doesn't have a punch tab. That's glorious. Oh. Let's cut in through the side here. This set is 270 pieces, by the way. Yay. And Brickheads is one of those things, just like Harry Potter. I wasn't really into Harry Potter at all until I finally gave it a chance and really loved it. And Brickheads is very much the same way. Clark, man, started getting into it. I gave it a chance and I loved it, which is a reason why you shouldn't make an opinion on something until you've experienced it. There's a look at all the pieces that make Hagrid. There's all the pieces that make Buckbeak. There is Clark Man getting a drink. And here is us building these sets up for you guys. just went ahead and did a whole little live stream building these guys and here is what they look like we've got Hagrid we've got Clarkman drinking milk and we've got Buckbeak I built him Clarkman built him I'm assuming that these are built properly I know Hagrid is but Buckbeak I'm sure someone's gonna be like oh, he's built wrong he loves drinking milk as well Aww. but these are nice little brickheads I love the Hagrid one especially check out his beard looks great and then he's got the lantern he's got a pink umbrella over here his belt buckle it's really cool. So I'm really stoked to have those built. And now we have to do a setup here. I wanna show like our whole setup, like looking really nice with everybody like fully built and assembled properly for like, just like the finale. You think we can do that, Clark, ma'am? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got Ben in the head with a trophy. I love that big old stack. Like that? It's gonna be the wall. We'll put Hagrid and Buckbeak beside his hut. It's like giant ones, just standing there beside it. And then the bus, since that's so big, let's just put the bus back here. Why can't we not have it driving by? Because it's going to like block everything else, you see? Mm -hmm. So now we got like this little cool setup here. 
Now it's going to be like he's like rolling for the town like it's going to crash <laughs> into the town. I kind of like that. Let's uh, move these over a little bit too. Yeah, the trees. Yep. I'm going to try to get everything as close as the f to the front that we can. We'll come back here so you guys can get a shot of our entire showcase and then we'll come in and take you on a little close-up tour going the whole way through so you can see all the fun stuff that's happening. We've got like a whole little world going on. That's probably one of my favorite parts right there. But as you can see, we got the Harry Potter in full effect here. A lot more sets from the series that we don't have, but it's been fun collecting these and I've really enjoyed playing with these and building them up with the family. And I'm hoping to do a lot more of that in the future. As we wrap the video up here, I just want to thank the Harry Potter detectors one more time for sticking with me all these years that I was ignorant of Harry Potter and never watched the movies, never got the sets. I finally done it and I'm very happy that I made that decision. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video and showcase on our Harry Potter collection. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video. Don't do that. Do Avalanche.